Ah, you know, this is something I always wanted to do. You know, introducing my favorite or everyone's favorite Korean films to people outside of Korea. How exciting is that? I'm not a creator of those films per se, but as a film critic, I'm happy being sort of a curator for you, guiding you through this world of K-cinema that I'm happily part of. So our first K-movie that I would like to present today is Mayagwang, The Drug King, released in 2017, the same year The Florida Project came out. Um, it's directed by Woo Min Ho. Are you guys fans of Woo Min Ho? He also directed Inside Man, which came out 2015, and more recently The Man Standing Next, 남산의 부장들. And I think you will like this one more. Maya Gwang stars Song Kang Ho as a main character. I'm pretty sure there will be lots of Song Kang Ho fans out there. And most of you guys know him with Parasite, I guess. I think the best performance by Song Kang Ho, though, is Memoirs of Mother, which is a second feature film by Bong Joon Ho. But today, let's stick to The Drug King. It's a story about Lee Do Sam, a small-time smuggler dealing with fake Rolex diamonds and stuff. And later he becomes this big-time drug king, biggest ever in Korea during the 1970s. I think he was even more problematic, um, you know, in the 1970s context because he was drug trafficking with Japanese Yakuza, which is like, unprecedented until that point in Korea. It is based on the real-life story of real criminal Lee Do sam who was based in Busan. The film also features Jo jong Seok. I don't know if you guys know him. Jo jong Seok appeared in 건축학개론, Architecture 101. But he stars as a prosecutor, Kim in Go from Seoul, who is so desperate to take um, Lee Do sam down. And Peduna appears as this femme fatale lobbyist. And she becomes a mistress and guardian of Idu Sam, taking him into upper levels of drug dealing and also social class. Okay, let me say this up front. This movie didn't do well, both critically and financially. So you might say, oh, what am I doing here then? <laughs> uh, part of the reason is that it wasn't really good as much as Umino's Inside Man, which was like very well received, both critically and um, at the box office. There were people who expressed their disappointment about Maya Wang compared to his previous movie. Maybe, you know, his previous one was just so big. And I personally thought it's not that bad. But I, I admit it is not the best work by Umin Ho either Song Kang Ho. I got the feeling that the characters playing their stereotypes, not making it authentic or unique to their filmography. Most importantly, the story is a bit predictable and I guess lingering, not quite deciding between a human drama about this drug dealer and political saga about the unjust dictatorship of Park Jong Hee regime. You probably think by now, so what am I going to suggest you? <laughs> I have my own justice. And yet, uh, the reason why I'm bringing this film to you is that it is still so entertaining. And performance by Song Kang Ho is strong enough to make you dive into this character, Lee Do Sam, who was one of the earliest drug dealers or perhaps the first at his scale of business. And I want you to watch, if you choose to watch it, the scene where Song kang -ho gets high for the first time in life after taking his own drug. Um, that's, that's one of the most impressive scenes in this film. The scene sort of reminds me of The Wolf of the Wall Street, um, you know, directed by Martin Scorsese and performed by DiCaprio. It's kind of like that. And I have one more scene for you from the drug king that I want to talk about. This scene takes place when Lee Do sam gets cornered by police and now he has nowhere to go. And when he gets surrounded by police 
at his own house in Busan, there begins this first time ever big scale historical shootout scene in the history of Korean cinema, I think. Um, Lee Do Sam takes out his shotgun completely high as if he knows he's going to be ended somehow. And you might think of Scarface for this particular scene. And some people criticize it for plagiarizing the scene from Scarface, but I don't think it's not a reasonable claim. Maybe he homaged it, or maybe he was just impressed by the scene. Um, and one last thing that I think is worth of watching this film is the music. It's just a must. Um, every single song and score is incredible in its own light. And there are many Korean and American oldies, as you heard, one. Um, the director of music, Cho young um, he's one of the most outstanding music directors for Korean films. And personally, I, I think he's the best. And he did many films, for instance, Vengeance Trilogy, including Old Boy by Park chan and all other Park chan films, including Handmaiden. And he also did films by Yoon Jong-bin and u m i n o and many others, many other Korean popular films. He chooses his own orchestra traveling all over the world. And I think that's what makes his music so unique and exotic. And yet, you know, they always go perfectly well with the scene. And I think with all this, I convinced you enough to watch this Maya Gwang at some point. All right. We will be back next week with an amazing K-movie that you definitely will look up. Music. News. Information. Everything about Korea. Arirang, Arirang. Radio.